Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 10 of Harvest Block. And more rock crystals. We're gonna do a little more astral sorcery today. And one of the things is I put up a uh, Enderio tank under here. You have to extract liquid starlight from the bottom of these things. But that rock crystal gave me nine buckets plus. Well, those two there. And however many I kind of forgot about in the meantime, they got, because it'll still degrade the crystal, but it won't produce starlight if the light well is full. And something else between episodes was I started putting tier four soil down here and got a few of the seeds in here anyway. So we should be eating some more advanced resources now, which should help a bit. Yeah, everything looks like it's working fine down there. And a lot more blank rooms. And I've actually got it prepped for a tier 4 altar. I just need to get some, uh, uh, some bloodstone. But over this way, got ourselves a, uh, an altar set up. A little higher, I've got three relays on here spaced out properly. And we've got almost full power. So that tells me that I need to put rock crystals away here. Oh, really? You're not going to do that? There we go. And I'm going to need some liquid starlight. Because it's time to upgrade our, our astral altar. There we go. And now to do that, we're going to go in here. I need a crystal. I need a total of six marble and liquid starlight bucket. I've got six marble here. So it was what, like four pillars? And what else was it? It's like chiseled, isn't it? Yeah. And chiseled. Yeah, I went through a decent amount of marble doing this, but oh, it's worth it. And I made myself a Sojourner Sash, so that way I have step assist. Makes it a little bit easier because uh, there's no stairs. But I wanted to use the uh, city marble, but there's no city marble stairs. And yeah. So we're going to go into here. I need a rock crystal. Really, any size will work. Yeah, I was going to say, I saw a 66 in there. It'll be fine. There we go. And it's not quite enough power, it says. Which is not surprising. My interest took a little longer than I wanted it to, but... Oh, well. And there's my resonating wand. Put the resonator away. And you can actually see... Faintly here, little streamers coming off here, heading to the altar. So all three of these are collecting and sending star power, which is eh, kind of awesome when you get down to it. It'll definitely help. And let's see. So I need to do a ritual of binding. So I need the ritual or the uh, I need the binding reagent, which is minimum of 400 will. This guy uh, only holds 256. So I need the. Uh, this is a lesser, right? So there we go. I need a common Tartar gem. Which needs an imbued slate, which is a tier three one. All right, so it shouldn't be too terrible. And I don't have stone over here, so. So there's our stone. Uh, let's see, common to dark. Now, the downside of this is I'm gonna have to kill a lot of mobs, but I need a block of gold and a diamond. I just grabbed 10. Whoops.
Okay. So let's go ahead and get all this shunted into here. At that, this is what actually what gets upgraded, right? So actually, I'm going to need a, another lesser Tartark. Because this takes 240 will, which means one of these has to be full. Uh, so yeah, we're not going to do that on camera, because I'm going to have to kill a lot of mobs to, uh, to get the will. Which is a bit unfortunate, but, you know, kind of is what it is, right? And coffee, sure, why not? Beans, yeah. You are melon? Yeah, let's do that. So let's get some uh, crops planted over here. Nope, don't do that. Thank you. Oh, and this is a tier three altar, so you can just slap that up there, and it'll it'll make it imbued on its own without a problem. Carrot and soybean. Coffee and bean. Rice and scallion. Actually, I planted one extra crop stick. Whoops. And my nutrition's actually doing really good. I just need dairy. Which, hey, ice cream. And I got a bunch of bait. So I can set the trap. And these will slowly revert now. Or not so slowly, case may be. And let's see, did I have... I have three cocoa powder left. That's, yeah, hardly ideal, but... It does give me some of that, so... Uh, let's just put like most of the stuff into here for now. And that counts as protein, so not great. But it works. She got a decent amount of will to eat too. Alright. So I should be seeing some new stuff show up over here. Um The answer to that is actually no, because they're not locked barrels, the stuff's going into. And all the new stuff I just planted actually has a home back here. Oop. So, I actually got the fun job now. Okay, Star Metal Essence, I never, never actually set the recipe for you. Right, and you're not extracting because you don't have a drawer to go to. Now you do. And, oh, Terra Steel did the same thing. So, cool, get a drawer for you. Pulsating iron. I set the filters for it, but I never actually, I didn't have it to set the recipe with. So. And, hey, look, Solarium. Yeah, sure, why not? One downside of actually making your walls out of, you know, scaffolding is you can literally climb anywhere. If you get too close to the wall while you're walking around, you start going up. Okay, you're good. Steel. Yep, look at you. Actually, you should. No, you don't have a place to go yet, do you? Constantin. Hop graphite. You're still stuck with uh, Inferium. You will be for a while, I think. Okay, you're good. You're good. And you're good. All right, you and you need homes. So you. And steel. There you go. Now it'll start filling those up as it comes in. So. 
All right, so yeah, that's all stuff I don't really need a lot of right now, so. Uh, yeah. Oh, I click out of the window. Okay, well, you just locked it to hop graphite. Wait for something else to show up in there now. Yeah, nah. Okay, good. I did get you locked. You're locked. All right. So I need to do that as I go, but that's only going to become an issue if these drawers fill up, the machine fills up, and then it starts backfilling into here. So honestly, not a huge priority. At least not yet. I'm not producing the essence really all that fast. Could be faster, but it's not very nice to the ticks. And oh, it's afternoon now. So let's go to quest book. And hey, look, there's nothing to do. Um, why would I want a diamond hoe for a hundred? There's like no way to recycle that, is there? Diamond hoe uses dark steel upgrade fork. Make a dark backhoe. That's kind of it now. Okay. I guess it's a way to get kind of sort of cheap diamonds from you know earlier on, but no. Tier four soil is a stack each. And honestly, I don't think I need most of these rings. Saturation actually will be really handy after I get my uh, nutrition all the way up. But we're not quite there yet. And this stuff's all going to be for like auto crafting and whatnot, right? So one ultimate ingot gives you five glowing. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to it so much. Now, bravo, I still have some animal seeds to go. Or mob seeds, I guess. Like... Oh, that's right, graphite got added in after I did all the tier threes. So I'm like, wait a second. Guardian and blaze. And ghast, yep. Now, tier five soil requires actually a celestial altar which is made in the Starlight Crafting Altar. So Stardust, I can I can do that. Okay, so actually I'll be able to get into this altar fairly quickly because I've already got access to Star Metal. And I got Aquamarine, I got Rock Crystals, and... All right, cool, that's uh, good to know. Let's go grab a couple Star Metal and get some Pulverize them, I guess, or well, Crush Room. And I just need three. And I'm gonna need some aquamarine. Tell you what, grab a couple stacks and we'll take it up uh, upstairs with us because it's definitely something we uh, we need relatively much. And you're currently doing a thing. Awesome. All right, let's go do the thing. Zap. Oh, hey, more coke dust just sitting around. Which is not something I really need to worry about too terribly much anymore because I have access to hop graphite seeds. So I can just make the ingots directly and pop it into a blast from the swarm of diamonds. But I figure I might as well do the do the one thing. All right, here we go. And tell you what. You can do that, and in the meantime, I'll just have some carrot juice. All right. Let's get on up here. We are completely full. We are ready to go. And this structure here is actually the base structure for the next tier of altar. I just decided to skip ahead and build it. You can see he's doing his thing. And there we are. I learned more about attunement. I can get my bucket back now. And okay, what was the next tier of Starlight Crafting? 
Well, it's actually, that's what I have now is a Starlight Crafting Altar. I need, ooh, conversion wand. It's this block swapper. The wands are cool. Uh, scroll of Expertise. Ceiling Sigil. The Domic Resonator. Celestial Gateway. There we go. Yeah, Celestial Altar. Let's just go ahead and I'm gonna favorite that. So I need basically six marble, two aquamarine. Completely screwed that up. Yeah, those go up here. Aquamarine goes there. Star metal will go here, right? Rock crystal. Let's go ahead and put our aquamarine in there. Crystal goes in the middle, and then I just need, like I said, six marble. Which I actually don't have any on me right now. Go get some. Uh, limestone, marble. All right, look at that. Easy as can be. So it was two pillars. And was it like four chiseled? Yeah, four chiseled. Yet again with the chiseled. Oh, look, it's a falling star. That's from Astral, too, but yeah, you kind of have to have a place for it to land, and you actually have to be. I think it's within like 30 or so blocks when it lands, otherwise it like the stuff it drops instantly despawns. Hey, cool. Guess what? You're gonna level up, and we're gonna look at the book here. Attunement and Celestial Altar. That is a structure I need now. Eleven by eleven by five. Need a lot of city quartz. Or sooty mar marble. Uh, let's see. That's just regular marble, is it? Uh, yeah, 12 regular marble. Need 8 pillars, which I have here. 4 chiseled. Need 4 ruined, which I can turn 4 of my chiseled into 4 ruined. So, I need a lot of sooty marble, and I need a lot of marble bricks. This thing takes a while to tech up. I do love the effects that go on, though. I mean, Astral Sorcery does amazing, amazing work with the uh, special effects. And, hey, look, we're red because we, we don't have the right altar. So, or more about Constellation. Well, that's nice and all, but... Alright, so... I can just look at this. It's a seven by seven. Right now we're at five by five. So There's all that wonderfulness now, and there we go. So what it is cleared out is going to have to be full of sooty marble. So I got what nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, and twenty-eight sooty marble. Oh, that's great now, isn't it? I'm just gonna leave all that stuff up here. Oh, I did. That's right. I did have an. That's what this is here, is infused wood. You just drop a piece of wood into a pool of liquid starlight and it's like, oh, okay, I am infused. As opposed to me, who's perpetually confused. But, you know, it's what it is. Hey, we got dairy. Didn't exactly do nutrition the right way, but it works. The nutrition mod, I should say. Oh, that's right. Let's do all that up. And there's our 40. 
Let's go ahead and grab 32 for now. All right. Hopefully that is enough to build our next altar. Hopefully, you know, cross fingers, all that fun stuff. All right, so that's done. Now I need like 12 regular marble. Yeah, let's go ahead and put our city marble away. Oh, no, dang it. That's marble bricks, chisel, okay. Now, marble. Make sure it's the right astral marble. And we're just basically just gonna cap on the end here. So I'm just gonna take all this, this arch out because I don't think there's any marble arches actually in the, uh, the completed structure. And the good news is the next tier of altar actually does the, uh, it just adds on to the structure I'm building now. So usually if I'm in a, a, a mod pack where I'm playing in the overworld, I've got enough marble and whatnot saved up. I just build the next tier as we go anyway. Right, so I should probably go ahead and turn that off. Let's get our pillars because, okay, and then I need, Got chisel, chisel. Okay, let's just use this stuff here. Need a ruined marble now. And it goes right there. And now I need the chisel back, which that's not it. It is right here. I should go on my hot bar when I shift click key, please. Forgot I got the Saturno Sash, and it gives you a jump boost. Hooray for call damage. All right. So now, now I just need to basically wrap the whole thing in bricks. And that is going to be 40 bricks. Turn the arches into bricks. Now be careful chiseling into the bricks, mind you. Because you can't always unchisel back. Why do I get the feeling I've done this a lot? Oh, that's right, I have. I love astral sorcery. And 40. And green, and almost no power. <laughs> because it's daytime. But one thing we can look at is... Uh, let's see. Not attunement. Constellation. Collector crystals. I can make the enhanced version. But I need a resonating gem. I need illumination powder, stardust. Illumination powder is just glowstone around an aquamarine, so honestly not horrible. Resonating gems, though, require me making a starlight infuser, which is its own little multi-block, which needs lots of starlight, liquid starlight to make. So we're not doing that quite yet. But the collector crystals would be great, and that would su supercharge this altar having a collector crystal. Uh, let's see. No, no, no. Here. I screwed up. I didn't pick up the Starlight Crafting Altar, so it didn't count for the quest. I am, however, going to pick up the Celestial one. And just kind of place it back down. So that way, whenever I do make another Starlight Crafting Altar, which is going to be relatively soon here, I 
I will, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I'll be relatively set. <laughs> Dang it. I need 16 of these ingots for that quest there. Tombment, Ritual Pistol, Celestial, Starlight Infuser, Iridescent, Ritual Anchors, Grindstone. Yeah, there's all sorts of mods in here that'll actually supercharge plant growth. Uh, let's see. Tanya, yep. Blood Magic has the uh, Sigil of the Green Grove, all that fun stuff, so that's a go. And Astral Sorcery has its own rituals that'll do it as well. So between those, I'll be able to actually get some stuff done. Now, I could get into solar panels now. I might hold off on that for a bit. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to call this an episode. I did a lot of off-camera work and... Kind of... This will be the last episode of my backlog before I come back from vacation. So... But I need to get this rendered out and uploaded because I'm leaving in the morning, so. But thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying this series. Sorry for this short episode, but until next time, sign signing out. Have fun.